You know the, the people I met in Iwasu, uh, I met a blonde girl, uh, quite special. That Can we talk about uh, those people, maybe because they help you in your spiritual uh, way? It, it was like, um, I, I, even here, before I uh, went to Iwasu, um, I mean, the, the lately, uh, there was one girl at the planetarium that made the numerology analysis on me out of the blue, completely out of the blue. Uh, I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even like the girl because uh, she had a lot of tattoos, the uh, hair. I said, well, okay, but she started to talk at me and uh, made an, uh, an ancient numerology. Yeah. Like that. Then, before going to uh, to Iwasu, um, also a, a girl saying, wow, man, you are kind of stupid because uh, you can do several things and you are not realizing them. So like I told, I told her the moment I had a kind of um, extra focus, I started to draw a painting the, about the... But about Egypt? Yeah, a, a automatic pilot. Like uh, you were a guide from... I don't know. Uh, in trance? That, that, that is what this girl told me. The thing is, I wanted to paint. I never paint. I don't, I don't know how to paint. So I found in the street a huge white uh, block. Maybe. Manifestation. Maybe. And I bought some uh, um, things to paint. Mm -hmm. And I kept... 24 hours straight doing the painting. Yeah, in trance. <laughs> um, like, um, well, the song I... Uh, I uh, yeah, you wrote some song with your guitar. You also was uh, looking at uh, the mask of Tutankhamun, felt sad again and started uh, writing a song about uh, not saying that uh, specifically, but the need of uh, the return of Nefertiti statue and the mask of Tut back to Egypt. Uh, but it, it, it was like... So you start yeah. feeling some really yeah. strong emotion yeah. and feelings about Egypt, yeah. Nefertiti? But basically, uh, my, my thing is uh, in, in that direction. Or Tut, or... A lot of people call me Tut. Tut uh, was a, a god, right? And Tutankhamun. The, the son of uh, Akhenaton and Nefertiti, or an, I don't know how And how was uh, your feelings uh, with him? I, because I know you told me at some point you had some hate about someone or something because you wanted to protect uh, Nefertiti, right? I don't, um, I had, a, I mean, the Akhenaton fear uh, to me is kind of uh, something I don't like because I, I always had sympathy for some gods of uh, Egypt, like mm. the Horus, for instance, uh, pursuing good values. And they are quite um, romantic and noble figures. And this guy saying, OK, out and now this is the thing. This it, new god. Uh -huh. But I still have some kind of a thing with uh, Nefertiti or Akhenat or Tut. I don't know. And um, I don't remember. So you you had all those feelings that the painting. So I sa yeah. I started to to paint paint the pyramids, uh, the Nef Nefertiti, of course, Horus holding the 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 hand the arm of a pharaoh. Wow. And in the back, uh, all the um, religious institutions, all. The Vatican, uh, the the things in Jerusalem, uh, oil towers, the desert, uh, all uh, full of uh, oil and blood. Wow! A what, strong, a strong. What thing. does that mean? I I put a title on it like the return of the old goats or old values. I don't remember, mm -hmm. but it is like uh, it, it, it was a kind of expressing my disliking of the this society. modern society and values and all the things with something that I always saw like uh, more, more simple, like pursuing a good life, uh, a pure heart, 
nothing more. And this girl told me, oh, you were like in trance. It is like uh, something uh, entering you. Control you. At some point, it, it is like I felt that thing because uh, I was painting Horus in uh, gold. No, not gold, but um, uh, uh, golden painting. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is gold, this is gold, but frenetic. Urus. And at some point, I was in a very bad position because the thing was uh, big. And I looked at a small pyramid I had there, and I said, please release me because my, my back is killing me. But I, I felt like uh, that I needed uh, to finish it even uh, when I, at some point I was enjoying the, the drawing. But in, with that experience, this girl told me, oh, that is a kind of, you can canalize things and blah, blah. And I said, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Did sure. you meet her in Iguazu? No, no, before going to Iguazu. Uh, six or eight months or... Ah, the girl from the planetarium? Another one. Another one. A, a lot of people came. Ah, you met the, okay, uh, giving you messages. Hints. Another guy called uh, Richard also. He's one of the um, one of the guys calling me Toot, uh, saying, "No oh, man, you can do this." Yeah, Toot. yeah, man, yeah, yeah. So but you were kind of accepting, but also you you didn't want to to go into that way or to believe it, so. It did. Um, yeah, with my uh, mindset, nothing makes uh, sense. Nothing. But the moment when you start seeing in in your, I mean, when the messages are like uh, indirect things, I always find a way to say mm, maybe this was uh, I don't know. I always find uh, a logical uh, answer answer that that keeps me okay. I'm safe. I understand yeah. what is going on. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. To close but, your eyes. Yeah. But there in, in Iwasu, uh, a few people started to talk at me, first uh, doing stupid things. Then I met a guy called Diego with a huge head, uh, really, really interesting points of uh, view, quite um, uh, lovely to say things. Uh, even sometimes he looked at me like, oh, you're an idiot, you're not ready for anything, blah, blah. but never um, trying to impose uh, anything. I have, a, I have a problem when people try to impose me things. It is like I have to take things at my own rhythm. And w he, uh, this Diego were giving giving you like some um, knowledge, some spiritual co advice? He made me, uh, no advice, uh, he made me think like, uh, okay. why don't you think about this or, or what happens with uh, this situation could be blah, 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 uh, but uh, quite easy to digest. But the, the good thing again, Maybe at that time I didn't understand half of the things uh, he told me, but I felt quite comfortable in his company. So it is like uh, I was paying attention. Oh, what is going to say? Whatever. Like but a master. Like a master. But no. But he's not that kind of guy yeah. that says, "Oh, because I'm you should not it. No, he mm. is in the process of trying to understand things and blah blah blah. But uh, it was quite uh, pleasant. Then there were, um, there was, um, uh, some of them were kind of uh, fake to me because n today is like a normal thing. A lot of people talking about spirit spirituality uh, okay. can be a business now. Everything is, oh, the universe doing this. Blah, blah, blah. But um, then I, I met uh, two weird, <laughs> 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 two weird guys. <laughs> um, and I mean, um, meeting you and another girl, a uh, blonde girl that looks like an angel, mm -hmm. was kind of uh, something that made me... That was the click, you think? Yeah, yeah. A turning point? A turning point. Because, uh, not because of the... At, at first, the, the things we talk about wasn't, wow. But... Um, I don't know, at some point, the, this, um, this girl touched me here 
and I said, uh, I felt like solar plexus. Yeah, uh, some kind of uh, liberation. I felt like uh, I was um, e even willing to cry, but uh, due to happiness. It, it's like uh, liberation of something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And besides, there are other uh, weird things, like I saw uh, the eyes of these people changing according to situations, her eyes turning blue, like I say, wow, that is an angel, really. <laughs> and then you, with uh, your crazy eyes, one day you were kind of uh, mad because of some, something. I went to talk to you and I saw like flames in your eyes willing to so you start kill me. You start saying mystic things. Yeah, but instead of saying what the hell is going on here and, and or getting uh, getting scared, it is like uh, Diego and other things help me to open my mind and enjoy and saying, okay, this is a kind of movie that this girl eyes turn blue, this guy has flame <laughs> in the air, okay, that's fun. <laughs> but it's like, um, I, I don't know if I learned, but I opened my mind saying, okay, there are a lot of things that I cannot uh, explain, but they are real. It exists. Yeah. Maybe like- But they were one after the other. It, it was like- uh, Step by step. Ste uh, step by step. By step. Uh, the message, the conversations with you were kind of brutal. It is like there was no need to uh, talk about uh, indirect things or with a soft, uh, it was like uh, concrete uh, things. Like, come on, man. Do